Hello students, well I am here to explain you the second chapter of your book It So Happened which is titled as Children at Work. There are many reasons why children have to work. Some help their family make a livelihood. Others who run away from unhappy homes need to support themselves. Children who have to work can't go to school and play like other children of their age. You must be thankful to God for having such a beautiful life where everyone loves and takes care of you and you enjoy all rights of children. It's a story about a boy named Velu. He was 11 years old from village. His father was an alcohol addict. He used to drink and often beat him. When he fed up of beat beaten, he ran away from his home. First day, he reached Kannur from where he got on the Kanyakumari Express and reached Chennai Central Station. When the train stopped at platform, Velu got off. Velu was quite nervous because he had no money, no help and no knowledge of the spec city. He sat on a bench on the platform, putting his small bundle down. He put his head down on his knees, feeling miserable and exhausted. The scene that he saw on the station was quite new for him. People walked by bumping into him with their suitcases and a voice announced something on a loudspeaker. Near him, a group of people sat on their luggage looking at TV hanging from the roof and the noise was terrible. He had walked most of the first day to Kannur. That's why he was exhausted. He had no money for a ticket. But luckily, the ticket collector did not come to the unreserved compartment. So he had tried to sleep on the floor near the toe. But a group of men next to him had played cards and shouted all night. So he was not able to sleep at all. In these moments of great nervousness and worry, a ray of light and hope came suddenly. Someone called him out, Hey, what new to town? Velu turned around and saw a girl around his own age wearing a long banyan. Her hair was stiff and brownish. She had a huge sack filled with dirty plastic cups and bottles, which she had picked up from the ground on one of her shoulders. She sat down near him on the bench and asked his name. So he answered her, but he didn't want to tell each and everything to the strange girl that he had run away because he could not stand his father beating him for one more day. His father would snatch away all the money Velu and his sisters earned and spat it on drink. The girl asked that what had he planned to do over here because this place is full of such kind of children. He felt hungry and pressed his stomach. The girl said that, could I arrange some food if you desired? In the beginning, Velu hesitated, but he had no way. So he followed her. He caught up with the girl as she was leaving the station. When they got to road, Velu found that the vehicles kept coming and never stopped for anyone. Smoke and dust flew at him, making his head spin. Now they had to wait for a long time before they could find a gap. Velu was hesitating at the same moment. The girl dragged him to the other side. Velu's heart was beating fast because he had never been to city before. He looked back at the central station and the traffic again that how they had managed to come through out. So they crossed a busy road and then a white bridge. Velu looked up at the hoardings and the pictures. He saw the pictures of Banyans, 
car, tires, pants, a woman holding a box. The writing was all in English, so he was not able to understand. Later on, the girl pointed him towards one of a big building. And it was, there was a hoarding written in Tamil language. So the whale was able to read. It was central jail. Velu asked her what she was carrying in her bag. She replied that she has things, bottles and papers which she collected from the garbage bins or from the roadsides. Velu wondered what she was going to do with them but he felt shy to ask more questions. It was still morning but the sun blasted down on the tar and Velu's bare feet burned. He was not liking uh, to walk on such a road but no way he was soaked with sweat so he tried hard to walk in the shade and keep up with the girl at the same time after almost an hour of walking they stopped in front of a big building it was a marriage home named Sri Raj Rajeshwari Prashana Kalyana Mandapam the girl led him behind a hall there was a big garbage bin overflowing with rubbish a cloud of flies buzzed around and two goats were fighting for a banana leaf. Anyhow, the girl found a squashed banana and a vada for Velu. It was very hard for the Velu to eat such things, but he was too hungry. So first he denied, but later on ate them because he had no option. The girl too ate a banana that she found there. The girl was getting late. She, she picked up a couple of bottles from the heap and threw it into her sack and walked off. Vilu was panicked. He realized that if the girl left him, he had no idea where he was and what to do. So it's better to be after her. And he ran after her again. She asked him that he could call her by name. That's Jaya. Now both of them walked along the road for half an hour. They came to a bridge across a dirty trickle of water. Jaya pointed towards Buckingham Canal. So Velu went with Jaya to the place where Jaya lived. There was a row of the strangest huts. These huts were made up of all sorts of things like metal sheets, tires, bricks, wooden, plastic. They were not straight and looked as if they may fall any moment. Willow had never seen such homes. In his village, homes are made up of mud and palm leaves. Jaya gave him a pair of old shoes without laces and a bag with stick. Willow asked her if there were any farms in the city. Jaya replied that there were no farmers there. They were rag pickers. Who are rag pickers? Those who collect garbage and she showed him the sack full of things she collected she said that she was going to sell it to jam bazaar jaggu will was puzzled because he had heard of people throwing rubbish but not about the people buying rubbish then he asked that why jam bazaar jaggu purchase all sorts of things from you she replied that he used to sell it to factory. She said Velu that he might work with her if he liked. Velu first denied but ultimately he agreed to work as a rag picker because he had no way at all. He thought himself that he would do that until he found a better job. So you might understand how miserable and tough life those children have to Lip.